So let's continue to build our character topology. One of the things we're going to need to do is, as you can see, I've saved the scene and then opened it back up. Every time you reopen a scene that you've saved where you were working with a live object and quad draw, you'll have to reset the live object and then reactivate quad draw. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll select our body base and I'll come up and click the magnet next to no live surface. And with the live surface set, I'll just go ahead and come over to the modeling toolkit, show it and activate quad draw. Before I activate quad draw though, I want to select the object that we've been working on previously. The way this works is the object that is selected, you will continue to build upon that object. So I wanna make sure that I have the leg selected that we were working on previously and then I'll select quadra and you'll notice it'll turn black and I can continue to work on that or I can work on a new area of the body which is what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and set up the elbow area first so we'll go ahead and build some topology going near the elbow area. So I'm just using my left click to set the points and then holding down shift in between four points to create a face. I'll go ahead and continue to build this out and perhaps I'll add two more here. I'm just kind of creating a face going around. So that looks pretty good right there. Now I do want to make sure that I have that center line because as you see with the leg, I kind of set it up going up the side of the leg. So I kind of want to have the same concept going up the bottom of this arm here. So I'm going to make sure that I move some of these edges around before I move forward. So I'm going to grab one of these edges right here that we just created. I'm just going to go ahead and move these in some where I can kind of get them in the area where I'm going to want them eventually. And I can probably include an edge. So I'm going to hold down control, mouse over, and then left click, and that'll add me one extra edge here. Let me move this one up just a hair. The elbow is something that we're going to have to focus on here in a minute, but let's go ahead and extend out our topology and build everything out for our entire arm. The best way to handle this is to always build out large and then get more complex by adding edge loops going around by holding down control. So we're going to get some more topology going out to the arm and then extend topology going out to the end of the arm. Let's go ahead and do that. Now I'm just going to go ahead and save myself some time, hold down control anywhere inside of this and just left click. That's going to give me an edge here to maintain where this elbow area is. I'm just going to go ahead and grab one of these points and just drag it on out to the edge of the arm and continue to move the other points out towards the edge of the arm. So sometimes if you have a hard time grabbing a point, just rotate a little bit and you'll see that it'll be easier to grab. So that's how you do that. If you're having a hard time grabbing it, just rotate your camera. And that looks good. Just gonna go ahead and move some more topology out. Just kind of get them out there where I need them. And I'll just go ahead and continue to do this. So I'm just building my arm out. And this one right here, I can probably just grab that and drag that out. These all look pretty good. We'll set those up a little bit more accurately here in a moment. Let's go ahead and extend it out to the end of the arm. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm just hold down control and set up another ring going around. And then I can just drag out from that ring. Let's drag it out to the end of the arm now. Right there looks good. That looks good. Now let's go ahead and continue to build here. Lost it. There it goes. Okay. Looks like I got this one clear to the edge. I'm going to try to stay back from the edge just a hair because it can get stuck on an edge if you're not careful. That looks like it did. So I'll just delete these. Throw a dot in here and hold down shift and add two more. There we go. Yeah, be careful about edges. Your points can get stuck on that edge and you won't be able to move them if you drag it clear to an edge. We can get them all lined up perfectly once we're done building all the topology. Let's go ahead and get this close. Looks good. And I'm just rotating around the body to get all these edges where I need them. Now I'm going to kind of zoom out a little bit and kind of look at the edge flow on this before I add any more geometry to this. It looks pretty solid. I, I might want to work a little bit with this top area here. So I could maybe move this up. And I could probably, that looks pretty good actually. Everything looks fine. I'm not liking in the back here. I know my elbow is going to be right about here. So here we have the forearm muscle is going up and then our elbow is going to be roughly right about here. So we need to identify where that elbow is going to be. If you recall with the leg, we set up the exact location, kind of set it up in our topology to identify, okay, this is the elbow. So in our topology, you can kind of just see where our knee was. Well, we're doing the same thing with the elbow. We're just going to kind of set up 
exactly where that elbow is. And then we also need to set up our topology so we can bend the arms. The arm's gonna be creasing right here, so I need to have an edge there. So I'll go ahead and drag these out to exactly where that crease is going to occur when this character bends his arm. So I'll go ahead and just drag these over maybe a little bit. That's good. Drag these in. And I can zoom out some to get a better look if I ever have a hard time seeing it. Another thing you can do if you don't want to always zoom out and you have an idea of how your model looks, it's not too complex, you can go into wireframe mode by hitting 4 on the keyboard, and that will make it very easy for you to see your edges inside of your model. Some people prefer to work in wireframe when they're doing this. I kind of prefer to just do the zoom out method. That's just me, but I actually use a combination of the both. Now, how I identified where this edge needs to be for this arm to fold down, because again, we're going to need to have a edge going across here so we can have that crease when the arm folds down, is what I did was I went up to the channel layer, and you want to unhide your character image planes, and then you can kind of go into the front view. And you can see exactly where this arm is going to be creased. It's going to be creasing right here. So I can see that I need to bring all these points in some, specifically these ones. So I will go ahead, go back to this view. And I'm actually going to work in four view now so I can see what's going on over here from the front while I move these points in. You see there's that one. And then this one needs to come in some. And it looks like I could straighten this up. So these need to come in to straighten them up a bit. There we go. And I'm just working around the arm. Now I'm just going to try to line them all up so we have a good, nice straight line going right here. All right, these ones up top definitely need to come in. And I will zoom out a little bit. Now I'm going to, I know that I have the bottom edge set up, so I'm going to go ahead and go back into this full screen view and try to line these up in a straight line here, as straight as possible. This looks good. And it's like, I'm going to go ahead and hide my character image planes so they don't get in the way. I'll go ahead and just move these edges some more. This looks good. Looks good. Doesn't have to be 100% perfect. Just get it kind of close. And once you do, we're going to go ahead and start adding some more edges in here. So I'll zoom out. Looks pretty good. I can see here's my elbow in the topology. I can identify exactly where it is, just like we could with the knee. And I want to go ahead and add some more edges here. So I know that this here area is going to have to have one because you can see that it's definitely deforming in that area. And maybe I want to add one right about here. Now, if I don't like exactly where I dropped an edge loop, I can always hold down Control plus Shift and click on it, and that'll remove it. And I can place it a little bit better. So this looks good right there. And I'm going to go ahead and add one right about here, and maybe one right about here. So this looks good. So now, just like the leg, and here's something I wanted to notice, I'm trying to keep some uniformity to the spacing in between my joints here. This just comes with a little bit of experience. You'll notice that here's the kneecap, and then I have one, two, three faces above it, and the kneecap, one, two, three faces below it. Well, if you notice what I did with the arm here was, here's our elbow, I have one, two, three faces beyond the elbow, and I also have three faces in front of the elbow. So just a little bit of uniformity with spacing and the face counts on each of these two joints. That's not always the case when you're doing character modeling, but it's a good idea to try to keep things uniform and not have edges too close together. Now, this looks pretty good for the arm. We could probably focus a little bit on it. So go ahead and clean up your arm a little bit. And if you want to, you can even emphasize a bit of the joint area where our shoulder is going to be because I know the shoulder is going to be here and you could probably drag some of these on the bottom in just a tad bit to sort of identify exactly where in your topology this shoulder blade is going to occur. So I could just kind of maybe shape that in so I'll kind of try to get a little bit of roundness to this part of the model and that looks pretty good. Maybe bring this in just a tad bit. Now I can see a little bit where that shoulder blade is. And I could probably bring these in a bit. But again, go ahead and clean up your topology a little bit. And in the next video, we'll go ahead and set up the topology to connect our leg to our arm. So we're going to set up the torso topology. If you have any questions or comments, please post below the video on brainpoof.com and click subscribe to follow us on YouTube.